Slovakia. This is our part two of this uh, video of uh, Second Ezra 8 and 50 that I just brought out for the introduction of uh, part one of the video. And this is uh, part two of uh, Slovakia. I was in an uh, interruption because my uh, big brother had called me. So I just had to uh, cut the video short. I was talking to him. Now I'm back at it again with part two of this uh, sit down lesson. For today on this July 11th, 2022 at 2.04 p.m. Central Standard Time. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushai. For letting me have the health and strength and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the best of my ability. To be able to uh, be thankful. Let us do sit down lessons. And being in this truth as well too. So shout out to that. So yeah, back to what I was saying, you know. Yeah, because the Heavenly Father in the last days is not dealing with somebody that's haughty, uh, prideful, and arrogant. You know, the Heavenly Father is not dealing with that. He's dealing with somebody that's meek, humbleness, and sincerity. You know, like the scripture says, the meek should inherit the earth. You know, the ones that have been brought down very low and they've been humble all the time to the best of their ability and not like pride get in their way or being in that prideful, arrogant, haughty, spirit type mindset. You know, that's the Heavenly Father who he's dealing with, you know. Because, you know, and I'm worried again, a haughty spirit having or showing a pride and superior attitude, a haughty princess of other words from haughty. Yep. So, yeah, the Heavenly Father's not dealing with somebody that's got a haughty spirit. As I brought out Proverbs 16 and 18, pride go before destruction, and a haughty spirit be before it fall. Right, a haughty spirit go before it fall, because the Heavenly Father's not dealing with no pride, prideful person, or no arrogant person as well, too. You know, that's out the window. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is not dealing with a person like that. And precept. Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with but with the lowly is wisdom. Right? Because the Heavenly Father is dealing with somebody that's uh, humble, meek, and lowly. You know? Because that's who the uh, Heavenly Father is dealing with. Somebody that's um, got that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding with meekness and humbleness and continue to seek the wisdom and understanding with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding uh, from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in a meekful, sincere way, you know? Because <clears throat> that's who the Heavenly Father is dealing with, you know? But with the lowly is wisdom, right? When prayer cometh, then cometh shame. Right, because you're going to be full of shame when the heavenly to know the fact that the heavenly father is not dealing with no uh, person that's haughty spirit or prideful or arrogant. You know, the heavenly father is not dealing with nobody with that. He's dealing with the lowly and meek. You know, like to say it again, the meek shall inherit the earth, the meek, the lowly, the humble, and sincerity. That's who the heavenly father is dealing with. People are striving for uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, people are striving for sincere and meekness and humbleness of the righteous words of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Seeking the righteous words of Yahweh Shemal Shah, having the effort and trying to seek the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and the righteous and the righteous footsteps and the righteous path of Yahweh Shemal Shah. That's the Heavenly Father who He's dealing with. You know. He's not dealing with nobody that's prideful and arrogant and haughty spirit and super prideful, super haughty spirit. The Heavenly Father's not dealing with that, you know. That's why it's great miseries are, are being brought on this planet Earth in the last days, you know. That's why he's seeing evilness and wickedness are increasing in spirits that are created for vengeance, but increasing now more than ever, you know. Because the Heavenly Father, He's a just balance, you know. He let allow certain things to happen, you know. Because, like the Scripture says, the Heavenly Father, He's slow to anger. But when His anger comes, it'll be a righteous judgment, 
you know, because a heavenly father, he's a just balance, you know. <clears throat> Even though he formed all things, he create light, he create light, he create darkness, he create good, and he create evil. You know, the Lord, he does all these things, you know, because he's a just balance, you know. On the left hand side and on the right hand side, he control both, he control everything, you know. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1 and verse 12. <clears throat> and it should be the last scripture that I'm going to bring out and I'm going to close out this uh, sit down lesson. Because uh, part 2 of this, so part 1 and part 2. <clears throat> uh, once again, I'm read it out again for edification's sake. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 2, verse 11 and through verse 12. In verse 11, in the book of Isaiah, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, The lofty looks of a man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of a man shall be bowed. <clears throat> it says, And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Right, because a lofty look of a man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of a man shall be bowed, you know. And because the Heavenly Father, you know, he's going to be exalted in that day when that day comes. Because we are definitely approaching in those days, you know. In verse 12, for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be everyone that is proud and lofty and everyone that is lifted up. And he shall be brought low, right? Because of people that's extremely prideful and arrogant, you know, think they're better than everybody. Thinking they are better than anybody that's righteousness, that's seeking righteousness, meekness, humbleness, and sincerity. Because the one that's been meek and humble, that you've been laughing, mocking, and scoffing at, because he's following the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father, keeping the law, statutes, commandments, doing the will, the work of the Lord. You know, the ones you've been scoffing and mocking and laughing at in that day, you should be brought low, you know. On the uh, day of uh, the Heavenly Father, when, he, when the Heavenly Father, we have His time to shine. <clears throat> you know, you're gonna be brought low on that day. You know, and that's only that's only being right. You know, that's only being righteous. You know, because like I mentioned again, the Heavenly Father, He's a just balance. He give time. He give people time to rule, to rule over people. And stuff like that. He give them enough time to be prideful and arrogant. And once he catch them at the last minute, it ain't gonna be so good, you know. He's just gonna the people that have been um, proud and arrogant and not considering what's going on, of biblical prophecies and stuff like that. Even though, like Scripture says, the Heavenly Father, He blind, He blinded the minds of the people and His own people as well too, you know. But it's going to catch a lot of people off guard when that time comes, when the Heavenly Father wants he be exalted. Because he's going to come back with full righteousness, you know. And the, and the people that's haughty, pride, and arrogant, they're going to be brought down very low, you know. And the ones that was meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, and have been kept at his word unto the end, he's going to exalt them. He's going to exalt the righteous people, you know, that's out there doing the will of the work of the Lord out there on the highways and byways week in and week out or any given day through the spirit through the spirit power grace and mercy of your high you know they're doing the will of the work of the lord to the best of their ability coming back into the fold of righteousness with meekness humbleness and sincerity as well too them the ones that's going to be uh lifted up in those days you know so with that i hope this uh sit down lesson for part one and part two and this is part two of this lesson that i finished up already just now so i hope this was edifying through the spirit power grace, and mercy of how yeah and first and foremost i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to say yahweh bashem yahweh shah bahashem wakar kadash double honors to the elders apostles of great millstone christian word truth and sincerity Shout out to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truth, and sincerity. 
And shout out to the Akin. That be like unto the speckled bird. Pushing the word, truth and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, yeah, shout out to the and the ball, the ball.